take my measuring tape okay. and ever so carefully without touching the wound, I'm going to eyeball. So that looks like 14 centimeters long by 2.5 centimeters wide. And now I take my cotton tip applicator and I'm going to put it in the wound ever so gently. I'm not going to jam it down and then go to where I get to the top part of the wound and then I'm going to measure the depth. And that looks like about two and a half centimeters deep. Oh, I would actually throw that away, <laughs> not put it near my sterile field. And I can, if this is a one time use measuring device, so I would also dispose of that. Okay, next I'm going to remove my gloves. Perform hand hygiene again, watching my sterile field. And I'm going to put on my sterile gloves. Alrighty, I'm going to put my right glove on first. I touch the cuff, the outer aspect, which ends up being the inner aspect of the cuff, with my left hand, and I slide my right hand in the glove. And then I will go inside the cuff with my sterile, because sterile is going to touch sterile, and slide my other hand in. pick my package up and toss that in the garbage as well. Now I am going to clean the wound bed. So I am going to use my first package of 4 by 4s Not so wet. And then I am going to wipe from the area of least contamination to most contamination. So I'm going to go from the belly button down with one swipe. And then I'm going to dispose of that. Then I'm going to take, now this is no longer sterile, so it's okay if I reach over that. So I'm going to pick up my dry 4x4 four four, and then pat the wound bed to remove any excess saline that may have uh, gotten in the wound bed with uh, the cleaning. And I'll dispose of that. Next, I will pick up my wet 4x4. Four four. The first one, I need to separate them out. And I'm going to open up the 4x4. Nope, I need to wring it out first. Sometimes you hear it dripping and you realize you <laughs> forgot a step. Now, you don't want it super wrung out, but you don't want it sopping wet as, uh, either. Because if you have it sopping wet, that will um, cause some um, maceration mm. to the wound bed and that will not promote healing. And this is always very tricky. So you're kind of opening that up, not just clumping it. Yeah, because it's gotta be kind of like <clears throat> fluff. Okay. And then I just put it in my left hand because I am dominant with my right. I'm gonna pick up my sterile cotton tip applicator. Okay. And I'm going to start I'm going to zoom in a little bit if I can, so kind of maybe go exaggeratedly slow here. Okay. Very carefully put it in the wound, and again, you don't want to jam it in there. Um, you've got to be careful not to touch the skin, because you don't want to get saline on the good skin because that could also damage the good skin then. Just like when you sit in the bathtub too long. Okay. And then I'm going to put this let me zoom in on you over there. My sterile field here. I'm going to take my other butt two by two. it out and open it up and do the same thing. And 
and you know I don't you notice I don't have it flopping because you could possibly get it contaminated and then I'm going to do the same thing if you tightly pack the wound that can actually um, inhibit new tissue growth, so that's why we loosely pack it. Next I'm going to pick up my remaining 4 by 4s separate them. Slight only overlap. And then I'm going to pick up my ABD pad and the blue. <laughs> I lost you. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. The blue part goes up to the sky. Okay, blue and sky, we can remember that. And then we just put that down on top. And now I am no longer sterile. The wound is completely covered. I need to tape the, um, the ABD in place. But first I'm going to um, write on my tape, because I don't like to write on the patient directly. I'm going to write the, the date, the time, and my initials. And then you cut your strip. I don't like to have the strips hanging off the bedside tray, because then it kind of gets Right. And last piece of tape. And it's, we're done. All right, let me uh, back out. Say that again. We're done. Yay. Well, we're not really done. <laughs> okay. So now we have to cover the patient. Put the cover back up. I, I would again assess how are you feeling? Did you have any discomfort during the procedure? And then I am going to go and document. And again, you can refer to the skin integrity uh, PowerPoint slides that we did in lab. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Thank you.